all right welcome back to the channel it is time for new box break and for this one we are going to take a run at the hockey power cube that you can find at your local walmart now these are by the mj holding company and what they do is they go and gather some supply that might be sitting there and rehash it repackage it and you get the point so this contains eight factory sealed packs and 50 assorted cards so what are we going to find in there? Well, let's just check this out. Open up the cellophane. Try not to damage the box because those could store some cards in the future from our collection. So let's just be very careful as can be. And I believe I've got the cellophane there. Not might have to use the scissors to open up this wrapping here, but nonetheless we have a success we have removed said packaging and let's get right to it so i did happen to see some pretty cool cards on the side i saw not on this one that is the mvp but over here we've got the 2016 17 series 2. so let's just open up this remove the paper and see which cards are there so that is your stack of 50 cards and as for the packs, I bet we're going to see a lot of score. I did see some score there. But let's remove that ceramic box, smooth it off to the side, and see what we can pull out of these loose packs. And yes, we do have score. And that is one, two, three, and four packs of score. Likely not going to open those. Maybe one pack just to show you what it's like in that particular set. If you've not seen it yet, then we will open up one pack. So we do have a 1617 Series 2. Not one, but we've got two. So those will be at the end. We may get some fireworks out of there. And we've got five packs or five cards per pack in the 2021 MVP. As well as the 2018-19 Glossy Rookies. So we might find some pretty cool cards in there. But let's get to the stack and start the break. So... We do have a Andy Brink, and that is the USA, from Pinnacle. Would be Score Pinnacle, I believe. And there we are. That's how the back looks. Pretty solid card there. And we've got an Alexander Karlamov, or Sharlamov. We have a Martin Gendron, and that is the Team Canada. Pretty cool jerseys. And here we are. We've got Pat Falloon, Score 91. The Retro Sharks. We have Jason Arnett, Upper Deck. We have Jason Botterill, that is the World Juniors. Brent Gretzky. Not every day you see the other Gretzky in these particular breaks or these packs, but there we are, a Brent Gretzky. So that'll be a keepsake. I've not collected many of his cards, but that is pretty pretty uh, cool design if you ask me with the border there some awesome color so let's just move that one off to the side perhaps put that in a penny sleeve and display Brian Bellows we have a Jimmy Carson Steve Eiserman Vladimir Konstantinov we've got Joe Murphy Craig Simpson we have Essa Tikkanen now that's what I like to see the Edmonton Oilers I do collect them John Cullen, we have Dave Manson, we have Gary Galley, Craig Janney, Neil Broughton, <coughs> excuse me, we have Vincent Damfus, followed up with Brad Shaw, we have Rob Brown, Larry Robinson, Rob Brown again, and John Cullen again, so definitely seeing double there, so that's your first part of the 50 stack. And let's see what we've got in the remaining 50 stacks. So, Raycroft, Opeachy, Nathan Horton. We have Peter Forsberg, Sheldon Surrey, Roberto Luongo, Ruslan Fodotenko, Fedotenko. We have Milan Lurchina, Matthias Oland, Martin Brodeur. That's a pretty cool card there. We have Patrick Eliash. Followed up with a Yuri Talusti, 
kind, uh, kind of a tongue twister there and Nick Andropov. We have Ian White. So a lot of Canadian content here, Paul Ranger. And we have a Daniel Sedin. We have a Mason Raymond. Alexander Edler. We have Roberto Luongo. So another Luongo hit there. Mike Sillinger. We have a Brendan Witt. We have Johnny Oduya. Brian Gianta. We have a Martin St. Louis. Henrik Sedin, the other twin there. And we have a UC Jokinen. So that rounds out the stack of 50. So that is pretty cool. Some interesting cards. Some throwback cards for sure. We'll just move that off to the side and let's get to ripping those loose packs. Like I said, perhaps one of the scores will be opened up just to give you a an idea of what they look like. So just bear with me here for a couple more seconds. As mentioned, I'm going to sleeve up this Brent Gretzky and put that in a top loader and a penny sleeve. So that Brent Gretzky will become the showcase card right in the background there. So here we are. Let's open up a score just for fun. And then we will get to the other packs. So nothing too exciting in terms of score. You might pull an autograph. You might pull some interesting short prints, but they are very hard to pull. So Tim Connolly, we've got Brian Boyle, Martin Brodeur. We have Ryan Wilson, Eric Stahl, Philippe, Philippe Cornet. That is the Edmonton Oilers prospect back in the day, Philippe Cornet. And we have a Joe Pavelski rounding out that pack. So there you are. You get the idea of that particular brand of score. So those three will go in the background. Unopened, but here we are. We've got the OPG Glossies. Let's open this one up. 1819. Perhaps we could pull Elias Pettersson or one of the other top rookies from that class. And here we are. We've got a Brady Kachuk. So that's a pretty solid hit there. We have Elias Pettersson, as mentioned, so we did happen to hit Pettersson there. And we've got a red bordered Casey Middlestad. So there we are. Those are the three, and those will be in the background for the recap. Let's get through this MVP, and then we will check out the remaining two packs of 16-17 Series 2. A lot of star power in that one, so hopefully we pull something good. Maybe even a young gun. So here we are, Miko Rantanen. We've got Victor Hedman. We have Jake Gensel. And that's a puzzle piece because there are some texts. There is some text. There you are. In the front, that's usually an indication that that is a puzzle piece. And we've got a script of Jeff Carter. So, as well as Rasmus Dahlin. Now, I'm not sure how often these scripts, scripted cards do appear. Because I don't really collect MVP, but... We will put that in the hit pile and go from there. But that is your MVP. So here we are. We've got the Series 2. Mitch Marner rookie card. Patrick Line rookie card. Austin Matthews canvas. Any of those three would be pretty cool by me. Do we have... No, there are, there's no young gun there, but it's a... Could be an OPG rookie there. Gianta. We have Emelin. We have Domi. We have Wilson, Mata, Alex Kalorn. We have Nikolai Ehlers, followed up with a Travis Konechny rookie card there from the Flyers. So that will be your first pack of Series 2. Can we get some magic there? Some last pack mojo in here. Hopefully we do get a young gun. That would be pretty solid. And we will do a quick recap. No young gun. That could be a canvas, though. So we've got Eric Stahl with the Wild. We have Tom Wilson. We have Blake Wheeler. Taylor Hall with the Devils. We have Richard Panic. We have Keith Yandel. We have a Peter Morazic. 
followed up with a canvas of Sven Barchi. So there you are. That is your second pack. So as we do a quick recap, you let me know if there was anything awesome in there. We did have the Sven Barchi canvas, Travis Konechny Opeachy, the silver script or the gold script of Jeff Carter there. Followed up with these three Opeachy rookies, Middlestad, Pedersen, and Brady Kachuk. But the hit of the 50 card random selected cards, we've got Brent Gretzky. So that would be a top prospect, most likely the rookie card of Wayne Gretzky's brother. So that was pretty cool for a little bit of nostalgia. But in terms of the loose packs, no big hits there. But for 25 bucks, that was somewhat of a fun rip. I didn't mind it, so it doesn't break the bank. So you let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe for all that good stuff. And as always, I'll be back with more content in the near future. Until then, bye for now.